Namaste. I'm Kip Sutton from the Regional Development Mission uh, for USAID in Asia. Uh, it's wonderful to be back here in Kathmandu, uh, seeing old friends. I was serving here a couple years ago uh, as the, uh, an ag officer. Um, so per Jeffrey's guidance, uh, I won't be using PowerPoint. We had a 100 slide uh, thing rigged up, but we're going to just stick to uh, some brief overviews. Um, we just heard from all the bilateral missions, and the regional development mission is very different uh, in its focus. Our niche and our mandate is to work with regional institutions, both political ones such as ASEAN and SARC, as well as regional learnings of institution, uh, regional inst um, learning institutions such as the Asian Institute for Technology, um, Katsitsart University, and these sorts of um, these sorts of uh, universities, as well as the private sector in the region, these multinational companies, which kind of go across the borders of the Asian development countries that we're, we're focused on. So we have to take that sort of niche and that approach and look at what the bilateral missions are doing and try to combine our focus to uh, basically synergize with their programs. So it's a challenge, but it's something that uh, we're working on continuously and keeping up good communication with the bilaterals on that. Um, right now we have uh, our main focus is on the uh, aquaculture and fisheries projects in the region. We're working on standards. Um, as many people know, working with governments and, and on policy level initiatives can be a very slow process. Well, it's even slower when you work with regional political bodies such as ASEAN and SARC. And so we kind of have a, a dual track method where we work with the political bodies as well as with the private sector to push the standards forward. Because with private sector, time is money and so they want things to move very quickly. So we've had some very good initiatives uh, moving forward some sustainable production standards in aquaculture and fisheries with the private sector players in the region. Um, we're continuing that work. We're in about a th the third year of the program. We have about a year left to go. And so we're, we're uh, currently in the process of designing our follow-on program, which we'll be reaching out with the missions uh, a little bit later at this conference as well for some of the consultations in that area. Uh, we also have a small program called AgLearn, which is trying to do some South-South learning. So we're working with uh, experts in Thailand and India uh, from universities and research centers there and reaching out uh, to the uh, Feed the Future focus countries of Cambodia, Nepal, and Bangladesh, of course, and um, trying to bring some of the technologies that have already been tried and tested in some of those more advanced development situations uh, to bear in the context of some of these, um, the Feed the Future focus countries that we were speaking about. But one of the interesting things that's emerged from there is we expected sort of a one-way flow of information when the project was designed with the technologies coming from Thailand and India uh, to these other countries. But we've seen there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of sort of bi-directional flow of information, not only um, back to the universities and research uh, centers, but also between the, the countries themselves. So we're seeing some interesting results there, and we had an interesting field trip um, last week out to uh, the sites near Chitwan that the implementing partner Forward, the NGO Forward uh, and NARC are working in, doing uh, interesting work with some of the um, less developed communities in that area. Um, and lastly, we're, we're in, in sort of initializing an engagement with the lower Mekong area focus countries of um, Burma, um, uh, Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam. Um, to push forward some food safety work, uh, which is uh, very uh, greatly needed in that area, um, and engaging more in that, which is a presidential initiative uh, for that focus area. So um, I think uh, it's, it's, well, we're, we're very happy to be here. It's, it's a good time for us to engage more and see what the programs are doing at the bilateral level and discuss with you all some efforts and the ways that we can look at scaling up our policy work and uh, linking that up with the scaling uh, work on innovations that's being done uh, at the missions. Thank you. To learn more, please visit agrilinks.org and feedthefuture.gov. And to learn more about this mission's activities, please visit www.usaid.gov slash asia-regional.